Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hounds and for this episode, while I've got Horror Dad here, I thought it would be Hello. nice to share our memory of the two times that we met Christopher Lee. He was, he is a legend in our household and we were fortunate enough to meet him on on two occasions, both were amazing experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll probably let you lead the conversation because you remember it slightly better than me. But um, yeah, yeah. the first time, how did it come around? He just they're just releasing Lord of the Rings, the first one, mm. and he was coming to Nottingham to the a corner house, which is um, a, a big building in Nottingham, to do a book signing at this uh, the horror movie shop. The cinema store. Cinema store. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. And. Um, I just was sort of I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't because I say I've been brought up on Hammer films and have this profound love for Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Vincent Price, the all the the, the oldest kind of films. So um, on the day, myself, Brenny's sister, and Mum, we queued to to meet the great man. Um, he actually turned up. That's the first glimpse we saw of him as he came out the lift um he went into the store and it, when it when it was our time to meet him the guy was such a gentleman such a nice guy uh, got this big powerful booming voice yeah, didn't it? very overwhelming and, presence and the, the finger the thing he used to point that finger yeah. that, oh gosh yeah. that, that's that's the dracula finger yeah. you know and uh I remember it being like really intimidating, but not for not not because of Christopher Lee. He was a, like you said, a total gentleman, but just the the, the presence that he, he had, he got such a presence, unbelievable, such a presence, the man. And it was so big, one day, so, so tall, tall and yeah, big. Yeah, you don't realise. Yeah, but um, I actually the first time I actually got my phone. That, the the guy at the side of Christopher Lee, other than me, he was a guy that had done his biography mm. so christopher lee was just sign every time i put something down christopher lee would just sign it for us you know and i got the biography signed the second time he was coming back the following year uh, a friend of mine he is head of security at the corner house didn't know he was a big christopher lee fan so he, he rang me and he said christopher lee's coming back to the cinema cinema store and he actually got Bryn and myself on the guest list so me and Bryn went along, Bryn bought him a nice box of Thornton's chocolates and uh, we just walked straight in with our guest pass, went straight to the guy again, um, he was just awesome, mm -hmm. yeah, again, got loads of photos and um, Bryn presented Mr Lee with his chocolates and again, charming, absolutely charming. Took a real interest in Bryn, you know, asking how old he was, what his name was. Um, couldn't get away from him. No, you know, couldn't no, get away. Couldn't. How many years ago was this? Well, it was the second after the second release, wasn't it? Mm. Lord of the Rings. I think it was about 17, 18 years ago. Yeah, now. yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's me and yeah. Chris. Um, yeah. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, just an amazing man, wasn't he? Just un unbelievable awesome. to meet him. I can remember um, the first time we met him, and. Um, Again, we we met quite a few characters in his time: George mm. A. Romero mm. and Tom Savini, and yeah, Tom Savini, Doug Bradley, mm. Ray Harryhausen, mm. a lot of people. But this guy did it for me. I can remember standing in the lift with my family. I was shaking, tears streaming down my face, and the wife saying to me, "Gosh, this is your real starstruck, aren't you?" And I went. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know what a what a day. two two amazing days, and you know, such an amazing guy. You know, sadly missed, but he's left us with a legacy of amazing films, and just could not believe in my lifetime or Brins that we would have the chance to meet. You know, a legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was absolutely awesome. Getting um, emotional now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. A, it really was a, a, a an amazing experience. Like yeah. I say, he had he had such a presence, and he was he was really scary, but really nice at the same time. Such yeah. a nice guy. So uh, we just thought it would be nice to to share those uh, those yeah. memories with you guys. But um, yeah, and also be interesting. Any comments 
people that you've actually met yourself, you know, yeah, yeah. and felt the same as myself and Bryn. Yeah, yeah. You know, let, let, us, let us know. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we'd really be interested to know that. So, um, thank you very much for watching that. Yeah. And stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, carry on staying safe, folks. Bye.